Good morning. And some of you guys have asked me for a tour of my setup since I've redone it. So I thought I'd take you through that today. And we can start with the boring bit. These are all my books and they're just inside the door. Most of these, I say all my books, I've got a lot more books than this, but uh, most of these are skeptics books. Um, because not only am I a gamer, but I've been lurking around the skeptics community for some years now. And those of you who don't know, when I started my channel, I actually toyed with the idea of doing skeptic stuff as well. And I may even go back to that at some point in the future. But uh, for now, let's just have a look at what I've got and how I've changed this. So first things first, you can see the shelves here. And I put those in and they're all across the side wall. So you come in the door here. And yeah, best daddy. That's my boy who did that when he was, I don't know, I think he was about three when he did that. And uh, I put it on there and it's stayed there ever since. I don't know if I am the best dad, but he seems to think so. So I'm quite happy about that. But anyway... That's my shelf in at the back wall, or the side wall I should say as you come in. And then if you look up here on the top, I've got my Scorpio box. There's no Scorpio in that, that's currently in the lounge. Got my C64 Mini with an extra controller, which I only picked up yesterday actually. I've got my Xbox One S Gears of War edition, and that's actually in there. And I'm probably going to use that in here once I can get it set up until I can get a hold of another X or maybe even swap them. But let's go back for a moment. In the top corner there, yeah, you can see a new year. I was an idiot and bought a new year. In the top corner there, you've got my PS3 games, which I've started buying recently since Jason sent me a PS3 because I never had one before. So thanks again, Jason. And then if you go across from there, as I say, there's the new year. And then at the top there, that's Vita games. Now, I haven't got very many Vita games. I've downloaded some as well. But that's the top there. But let's follow this round. If you go around here, we've got a few special editions. We've got Doom. We've got <laughs> Dishonored 2, which I haven't actually played yet. And then Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus, uh, with the Terror Billy inside there. Haven't got them out yet. They've just gone on there while I'm still working on The Office. And then up from there, there's some more books underneath. Right at the bottom there, that box and the CD case on top of it, are <laughs> there's two original Xboxes in there. One that was given to me by a friend and is Executor modded. And then a, just a vanilla one that I picked up off eBay. Because like an idiot, I sold my Xbox some years ago. Well, in fact, I actually gave it away. And... Um, <laughs> It just it went through the family and then disappeared. And I decided recently that I wanted one back. So I've been getting hold of Xbox stuff. And I'll show you that in a minute. I've got some Xbox games as well. The blue box there has got most of my handhelds. Now, I'm not a great one for handheld gaming. So I've got two original DSs. I've got my boy's 3DS in there. Uh, he knows where it is, so he can come and get it when he wants it. And that's about it. I think I have got a JXD and a Vita. Obviously, I've got a Vita. You guys saw my video that I did about my Vita. And um, that'll be coming down in this box as well at some point. Next to that, I've got a... <laughs> there's a snooker picture, which... Um, well, that I used to play a lot of snooker and pool. It was never that good, but I used to play a lot. So I was bought that one Christmas. And it's still actually got some cellophane on it. I just left it in there to protect it. But it still looks fine. Then I've got my uh, Switch stuff, uh, most of it. The uh, controllers on the left there came from Japan. I had to import them because I didn't buy the Mario Switch. I had the standard one when it first came out. And you can see a Pro Controller there as well. And I'd like to get a second one of those because I think Pro Controllers are much better. If anyone asks me, do, you, do I need a Pro Controller? My answer would be yes. And then up from there, we've got uh, <laughs> another humorous thing I was given because I like my vinyl, or I used to. I haven't set my vinyl up, well, my uh, vinyl player up, but it's to go in the lounge at some point when I get the time. And then Fallout 3, that's the special edition, but not the, the really big edition. It's the sort of cut down special edition. And then I've got a Doctor Who <laughs> Lego set, which I've yet to make, which will go in here when I've finished making it. As I say, we're still kind of uh, a work in progress at the moment. Then above that, you've got round, you've got some more shelves. 
and whether I'll have books or games on those, I don't know. I have got some gaming related books which are upstairs which need to come down. They'll probably go on there. Then below that, we've got my TV. Oh, and below that, we've got my God of War Special Edition still boxed up. My, well, the Special Edition con uh, console. And uh, that will be going on this desk here. Uh, underneath there as well, you can still see my God of War Collector's Edition, which is yet to go back, but it is going back because, uh, well, as you guys probably know, Amazon made a complete cock-up of that. So the TV is the Samsung MU6400, and it's 4K, and it is HDR capable, but it's, um, well, it's not the best HDR. It's a, it's a great TV. It's 40-inch. It's uh, had good reviews, but the one thing where it's a bit weak is in its HDR, and mainly that probably comes about because it's not a 10-bit panel. Next to that, we have my monitor, and that's an Acer Predator XB321HK, I believe. It's a 32-inch monitor, and just above that, there's a Logitech 922, I believe that is. I uh, got that recently. I uh, haven't really done any streaming or anything, but you might see me on Clay's channel, so watch out for that. You'll get to see my ugly face, or maybe don't watch out for it if you <laughs> don't want to see my ugly face. Next to that, I've got my Boom with my mic attached to it, and that's a Sennheiser E835S, and it's an XLR cardoid mic, and you can close mic in effect. You can get it really close. And it's, it's a nice mic, uh, doesn't pick up sort of echo and things, which you'll be hearing now, in the same way that that one over there will pick up background noise. So this one is actually superior in some respects. It's, it swings and roundabouts, really, but I like it. Uh, as I say, this one over here is a Blue Yeti, and uh, that was the first mic I ever had, and that was bought for me by my partner. I have two mics still, because sometimes I do... Um, two recordings at the same time so that I can have a backup. It's always handy to have a backup. Um, underneath there we've got the Alesis Multimix 4 FX. I never use the FX, you can't really see it very well here. Um, it does the job, it's not the best mixer in the world and to be honest I want to get myself an audio interface and play around a bit because I, I want to be able to listen to my voice while I'm recording to monitor my voice but also to hear my computer and it's really difficult to in effect get two separate channels if you're bringing someone in from outside so if you're using Skype or if you're using TeamSpeak or, or something like that it's really difficult to separate it out into two channels and I'm still investigating that. Uh, the keyboard I've got is the, oh let me see, the Corsair K70 Lux and that's a lovely keyboard, a bit clacky, you'll see my uh, <laughs> screen has just come on. It clacks a bit, if you're using it when you're doing a podcast or something, it will get picked up. But the trade-off's worth it because it's a lovely keyboard. It's very, very responsive, I, I just, I love it to bits. Um, next to that is my mouse, and my mouse is the Logitech G402. It's nothing special really. But I've had it a while now, and it's a great mouse, actually. It's uh, not the most expensive mouse in the world, and it's served me really well. I do like Logitech gear, even though I'm a bit annoyed that they uh, phased out the squeeze box. I used to love the squeeze box, but that's uh, maybe another video for another day. Um, you can see there, just underneath the monitor, is my headphones. And they are the Sennheiser. Now, let me just check. What have I done with those? They're the HD650, and they are fantastic headphones. I've got um, a Sennheiser headset as well, but that's not in here at the moment, and that's pretty good as well, but definitely the sound out of these things is in another league. So, uh, yeah, that's definitely worth getting a pair of those if you can uh, find a pair. I'm not sure if they still make those ones, but um, they are high-end, so if you want a pair of high-end Sennheisers and you can afford it, definitely go for them. They are awesome. Great for music, great for listening when you're doing podcasts and monitoring yourself and all the rest of it. Next to that, we've got a couple of, I think they're three terabyte hard drives, which I use for archiving. 
Now I have got a NAS drive, but that's sat in the lounge at the moment because I was playing around with setting up a home cinema PC some time ago and it's got a lot of Blu-rays ripped to it. But I want to bring that in here and use that for archiving my podcasts, my videos, all that kind of stuff. Next to that we've got my PC. Now that I built about two years ago and the reason I built that was because, well frankly, my laptop wasn't up to uh, rendering or all the rest of it for YouTube. So uh, yeah, I built that. And it's a Skylake PC. Uh, that was all the rage at the time. I don't know whether it was the right decision, but it certainly served me well. Now, the case is the NZXT or the NZXT H440, and it's the blue one. I had to scrabble around trying to find the blue one. Uh, Clay's actually got the same case, uh, and if you check out his channel, he did a setup and he actually modded his case and made it green because his favourite colour is green and he made a good job of that and it looks really nice but anyway we're not talking about his setup we're talking about mine here and I went for the blue case because I like blue now the NTXT H440 is well it's a lovely case you can see it here it looks really nice got a window in it you can get it without a window I really like it my only sort of real quibble with it would be that it's it runs a bit hot because if you look here there's not an awful lot of venting and you've got a fan here big fan here and it's got three fans at the front but it doesn't pull in a lot of air either so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to get a grill and I've got my fan sitting underneath here for my CPU cooling and I'm gonna have well I'm gonna I'm gonna cut a hole in the case up here and then it will be able to to vent out of the top uh, a, a lot better so hopefully that will solve my issues because when I'm rendering, certainly in 4K, the temperature of the CPU jumps up massively even with the cooler I'm using which is a Corsair liquid cooler, it's the H100i version 2 and uh, yeah it's a good cooler but yeah <laughs> it struggles. Um, the CPU in here is actually overclocked and the CPU I've got is a Intel i7-6700K and um, yeah that served me really well that sits on a, an Asus Maximus formula now I don't know if you can see in there but it's uh, it's a bit it's a bit shiny I'm afraid you can't really see in very well because of the window but it's a nice looking board and um, yeah that served me well as well as I say it's a Skylake board works really well and uh, it's great for gaming and it's been pretty good for rendering but like I say 4k I'd like to get something a bit more beefy to do that and I, I I would like to actually go for something like a Threadripper as a second PC just for all the number crunching but we'll see how that goes because I can't really afford that at the moment um, so we've covered the main board and the case and the CPU the RAM is, I've got 32 gig of Corsair Dominator RAM. You can just about see that as the blue strips, silver and blue they are, just right of the Corsair, and that's the cooler sitting on top of the CPU you can see there as well. The hard drives I've got in there are the Intel 750, and that's a 400 gig SSD. And that's a blisteringly quick thing. You can see that just at the bottom there. That's the one with the label on it. And um, as I say, I've already covered the, the cooler. The other uh, hard drive I've got in there is a uh, <laughs> Samsung, uh, I believe. It's the, well, I'll see if I can find out where it is. It's a Samsung 850 Evo, and that's one terabyte. And I use that for rendering and all the rest of it. Uh, I've already covered my external storage. And then, I suppose the main event, because this is primarily a gaming PC, I don't know if you can see it there, is the Asus ROG Strix GTX 1080. Now, I did think of updating that to a 1080 Ti, but frankly I can't afford the outlay and it's not really worth it at this stage. I also thought about getting a second GTX 1080 and sticking in there, but that slot's probably going to be used for a 4K capture card. And that should be coming today, I hope, actually. So uh, that's a, a topic for another video. 
But that's basically it for the PC. Not much else to see. As I said, I'd, I'd already like to update it or get a second one perhaps just for rendering, but another outlay that I can't really afford at this stage. And we move across there, you've got my mic again, some pens, my <laughs> mandatory cup of tea. And then we go up from there, we got some more little shelves three of them and I'm just going to put some sort of odds and ends in there PC stuff primarily and then my printer which is a Canon can't remember the model number I'm sure you're interested in that and then we get background and as you can see we're background almost to where we started and that is my Vita games up there still hasn't <laughs> expanded any since we started just below that we've got my PS4 games I've bought a lot of games digitally this generation, so I haven't got a huge number of physical copies. I am going to be expanding on that though, because I'm kind of moving back towards physical. I'm a bit fed up with buying stuff on digital. I don't really trust it, to be honest. Then below that, we've got my Xbox One games. Same thing, really. Not as many as I would like, but, you know, fair reasonable collection so far. Underneath that, we've got my original Xbox games. As you can see, we've got some, there's some nice ones in there. Jade Empire. We've also got Panzer Dra Dragoon Auto, which came earlier in the week. And that's pristine. I'm really happy about that. It didn't cost me a huge amount of money either. And um, next to that, we've got my 360 games, or some of them. And then more 360 games and <laughs> connect games on the end there and more 360 games and some codes that I discovered <laughs> don't know whether they're still functional or not but uh, I discovered those in various boxes and the pride of my collection seen it <laughs> seen it done it bought the t-shirt yeah we've played that a few times but it's uh, yeah it's, it's a bit of fun underneath that <clears throat> excuse me I'm losing my voice underneath that we've got my Wii games Wii U games, Switch games, and DS games. And, uh, oh, Bayonetta for the Switch right on the end there. Oh, and there's the box from a Little Boy's 3DS. And it's the Pokemon one. It's lovely, actually. But that's about it. Underneath that, we've got my boots, just as well. That's not smelly vision. <laughs> and some uh, paper for the printer. And we're back to the door. And... I'm still the best daddy, apparently, <laughs> and back to my books. Hopefully that was some use to you guys. I don't know if it was or not, but uh, well, maybe it might help you set up your own setup or, you know, give you some ideas or whatever. And that's me done, really. You know what I'm going to go and do now. I am going to go and drink that and read r my retro gamer. <laughs> And maybe render this video as well. But that's me done. I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye.